such a messy table. Oh, this is for sale. Now, if you guys would like to make your desk set up from this to this, keep watching. Hey, what's up guys? Adam Lobo here and you're watching Adam Lobo TV. If you guys are new, phew, hello and welcome guys. Do consider subscribing to this channel as I release videos at least twice a week and if you're returning as a subscriber hey guys welcome back now it is important for me to have a nice clean desk since i'm spending most of my time working on my desk other than shooting my videos of course and when samsung introduced this space monitor and i knew i had to get my hands on it so let's start with the unboxing Now the Samsung Space Monitors box opens from the front where right inside you will first find the monitor stand, a plastic sheet which has the combination of the monitor stand cover, the instructions manual, the adapter with a very unique pin plug, the HDMI and a Y splitter cable. And you'll also find the 3-pin plug to insert into the 2-unique pin plug to use it here in Malaysia and of course anywhere else which has a 3-pin plug. And you'll find the 4 screws as well. Then underneath, you'll find the monitor itself. Alright, looking into the setup of the monitor, first you'll need to place your monitor on a carpet or on a couch face down. Next, attach the stand from the back of the monitor then screw in the four included screws at the back of the stand. Next, just clamp the monitor stand to your desk. Insert the included HDMI cable and the power splitter at the back of the monitor and insert the other HDMI cable into your laptop or any other devices. Now, since I don't have a HDMI dongle for my laptop, I will use my USB-C to HDMI cable to plug it at the back instead. Next, just plug in the adapter to your power plug and you're done. Now, in terms of the monitor's build quality, I was surprised at how light the monitor was as soon as I took it out from the box. Now, to me, the monitor felt a bit lighter than the stand itself and thank God that the stand is not sold separately. <clears throat> now, the combined weight for the monitor and the stand is about 7 kgs, which is still quite light compared to other monitors they have tested with this high quality black hard plastic material where the material is also present at the front below of the screen. As you have seen that the stand had a clamp like stand which means that the stand can be easily clamped to your desk as long as your desk does not have any weird hinges or anything that comes between your desk where the requirements of the thickness of your desk is up to 3.54 inches or 90 millimeters. And what's unique about this monitor is although that you can't adjust its rotation, it has an amazing ability to adjust it down to various angles to suit your customized viewing experience where you can adjust it flush towards the wall to have a space on your desk for more working space. You can also adjust it right in the middle or all the way down to even resting on the table itself for you to just sit back and watch movies on the screen. Now to give it a further minimalist look of the monitor, there is a cool built-in cable management at the back of the stand to hide your cables to further enhance your super clean look for your desk setup as well. Now let's talk about the display. The Samsung Space Monitor is a VA panel with a very minimum bezels. Now the monitor comes with two variants for you guys to choose from, where the one which I have is the 32-inch variant, which outputs at a resolution of 3840 by 2160 UHD resolution with a 16 by 9 aspect ratio and a refresh rate of 60 Hz. And then there's also the 27-inch variant, where it has a resolution of 2560 by 1440, also with a 16 by 9 aspect ratio, but the 
higher refresh rate of 144 Hz. Now this 32 inch monitor also has a 2500 to 1 contrast ratio, 4 milliseconds of grey to grey response time and with a proper display calibration, it covers a whole 100% RGB space which not only makes this monitor great for doing accurate colour correction for video editing or photo editing but also consuming video content as well. Now going into the connectivity options and buttons, at the back you'll find the USB port which is used only for service purposes which means that you cannot plug in any other USB-A devices in there and then there's also a mini display 1.2 port, a HDMI in 2.0 port and a DC in. Then below on the right, also at the back of the screen, you'll find the power or joystick button to scroll through the menu options where you can go to the source or go through the adjustments for the brightness contrast, enabling game mode, picture to picture mode to display through HDMI and also mini display port at the same time side by side and then there's also many options for you guys to tweak further over there which for me I left it at default since I did calibrate it with my X-Rite i1 display to get accurate colors on the monitor. Now while this monitor is great and it comes with great features, my only wish is that it had more connectivity options, especially a USB-C port which could not only be used to display for my laptop but to also charge it at the same time and while this monitor is quite light, it also means that the top part of the monitor can be just a little wobbly when you rest your hands on the table or just touch the table just slightly so keep that in mind and if it had a built-in speaker, that will also be a great bonus as well. Now in conclusion, the Samsung Space Monitor is perfect for content creators which is not only great for doing multitasking work, it is also for someone who just loves a versatile screen that can literally transform from a regular PC monitor to a pure video consumption screen. And to be honest, I wouldn't recommend this monitor for serious gamers out there as this is more catered towards the casual gamer. But all in all, I feel it is pretty refreshing to see something totally different than a typical monitors available out right now. Now as for the price here in Malaysia, the Samsung Space Monitor is priced at 2199 ringgit for this 32-inch variant and the 27-inch variant is priced at 1799 ringgit and I'll leave links down below if you guys are planning to get one. So guys, do let me know what you guys think of the Samsung Space Monitor. Does this monitor suit your needs? Do let me know at the comment section below. Aside from that, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give this video a nice big thumbs up. Like, share and subscribe to Adam Lobo TV if you haven't done so. Don't forget to hit the bell icon just next to it to get notified for my future videos. Thank you so much for watching. This is Adam Lobo and I'll catch you guys in my next video.